Welcome back, everyone. It's good to see you. all you good folks at Einstein's Eyes. I'm your co-host, Carl Rosen, Oculoplastics Neuro-Ophthalmology in Anchorage, Alaska. I'm with my friend, my former co-resident at Albert Einstein, John Ditkoff. John? Hello, everybody. I'm a general ophthalmologist. I specialize in cornea. I've been in practice 31 years in Bloomfield, New Jersey. And uh, it's always nice to see Carl at Anchorage. And it's great to have a guest who also practices medicine in, drum roll, Bluefield, New Jersey. Outstanding. The calls yeah. introduced Mark. Right, right. I do want to mention that our topic today is, is scientists in Japan have developed a drug that can regrow human teeth. Now, you might be saying this is an ophthalmology channel. You're outside your sphere. You're outside your, your playground. That is true, but it's an interesting topic. And we were fortunate enough to get Dr. Mark Moskowitz, a dentist who attended NYU, and then uh, received his dental degree, the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey. He was, and a big congratulations to you, Mark, but you were awarded the Distinguished Teaching Award for General Practice Residency at Englewood Hospital recently. Welcome to Einstein's Eyes. Hey, Mark, Thank you. Been, how long have you been in practice, Mark? I've been practicing since 1989, so wow, 36 years. years. Wow, too long. That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> yeah. How come, how come you look younger than me? I don't get it. Here's the story. Regrowing biological teeth. This comes from a March 2023 paper in Regenerative Therapy from Ravi Murishima and colleagues. And we brought Mark on, Dr. Moskowitz, to comment regrowing teeth, how it would affect teaching dentists, how it would affect the practice of dental medicine, how it would affect the community of dentists. What do you think, Mark? Could you imagine regrowing teeth? I think we would be revolutionary to do that. I know none of us are biochemists, but just the concept itself, hearing about a drug that regrows teeth, do you think it might be true? Like, I think, do you think it, they say by 2030, they think it's going to be out. Science changes every day. I think it's yeah. possible. It's possible, yeah. Yeah. So the mechanism is about blocking a protein called USAG1, which normally stops new teeth from forming. The researchers made an antibody that disables USAG1, allowing for the body's natural growth signals to restart tooth development. This is going to affect implants, dentures. This yeah, drug could help you know, our body regrow a real tooth. Yeah, so what percentage of your practice would be affected by that? Um, you know, it's it's hard to say. You know, I teach at the uh, clinic in Englewood, and people, we take teeth out all the time, and maybe regrowing teeth we, it would be a wonderful thing. People. What about, like, you know, like I know when my wife had problems, they were trying to save her teeth. Like, they were doing all these procedures, the endodontist. The way I was looking at it was, geez, if they could just regrow teeth with a medication, it would almost affect the end of the, you know, it would affect all the industries because you're like, why save it? Just take it out and give the person the medicine instead of going through all the things she went through to try to save it. Well, what do you think about that? Well, we have to think how long it, the process is, the grower yeah. tooth. Yeah. So, so sometimes you just don't want to take teeth out willy nilly because yeah. it, if it's a 10 years to grow it, I have no idea. Right. That's true. That, that's, that's the, the problem. problem. And the risks. And then, uh, and will, and I'm sure nothing's going to be 100. percent Even if the medication, you know, works, nothing's 100. percent So you're taking and, a and risk. We, and we don't know what type of tooth it will grow in. There's different teeth in mouth, molars, premolars, anterior teeth. We yeah. don't know how it'll look when it comes in either. Probably. Yeah, that's a very good point. So yeah, the data you channel with us. The data suggests that the new teeth form with roots with nerves, with blood vessels. And initially the studies were done in animals and they, but early human studies have been initiated. And the first human trial was in 2024. Studies are ongoing and if things go well, we might see approved treatments later this decade. John, you mentioned 2030. Yeah, that's what so they said in the article. Yeah, but still, you know, safety, dosage, long-term effects all need to be proven first. This is not science fiction. And we're talking about a real possibility of a new tooth within a few years. Tooth. Agenesis, meaning new permanent teeth. 
Dr. M brought up an interesting thing, which is like, will it know which tooth it should be? I and mean, that's really an interesting concept. Like, what kind of tooth are you getting? So if it's in an aesthetic zone, we don't know what the tooth is going to be. It, a tooth there, and then we have to do other procedures to make it look like the other, other teeth. That, that's a variant. Yeah. So when we do implants, we can really control that instead of waiting for the tooth to grow. So that might be a new industry, meaning it might be too white. The wrong shape. We don't know. Shifting, though, from mechanical repair to biological regeneration. And Dennis says the future would be, you know, part geneticist and part bioengineer. It would change de dental medicine and change the way you train, Dennis. Do you have any comments, Mark? It's just, I, it's it's so in the infancy. I don't really think how it, we, I'm, I'm trying to picture in my mind how we, 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 could, we place this drug in a socket or uh, somewhere, yeah. but we, we don't know what's really going to look like. And then the person's, if it's aesthetically people not pleasing, then we have to do other things to it again. This is the header for commentary on the article. We don't know what the tooth will look like. We don't know if the color will be the same, yeah. if the enamel strength will be the same, if the size will match. Possibly the cost. We don't know the cost either. The risk. I mean, for all you know, you implant this thing, you find out five years later, infection or something else, or rejection, like your body might reject it. You know, there's some... There's a lot of levels we got to make sure. How do you think dentistry has changed in the last 10 years? It really hasn't changed. So diff we're doing the same things for the last, you know, 26 years, six years. <laughs> I mean, it's it's changed for more, more aesthetically things we do now. People are more interested in having a nice white set of teeth that's straight. And everybody wants it now. It's not, they're not willing to wait. What about the fact, like, when I was a kid, I went to the dentist. He was my uncle. And he did everything. Kind of like in my practice, the ophthalmologist 30 years ago, he would do everything. He'd measure you for glasses, he would give you contacts, he would check your eye pressure. Now we have some, you know, we have trained individuals that can do a lot of the things we used to do, and we can cut really to the chase, which is the more important stuff. Do you, what do you I mean, do you think, I mean, how when did that start to change, you think, in dentistry? Well, there's always specialists around. They, they have a implantologist now. Yeah. that they call themselves implantologists and they want to make it a specialty. Um, you know, it's interesting. It's like sometimes a turf war between oral surgeons, periodontists who want to do these procedures. Yeah. And they, you know, it's like in your field. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely. Like I'm a cornea specialist, but it doesn't stop someone that's not a cornea specialist from doing LASIK. And there are general ophthalmologists that even take care of the retina. They do lasers now. They do injections. Most don't, but you're right. You know, you, you could be trained in it. Your your dentist that you worked with for years who passed away, I mean, he did everything, right? Right. And yeah. we, 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 we're fortunate enough to do anything we were allowed to do, like yeah. specialists can do. Interesting topic. We'll see where this goes. We'll keep our Einstein Eyes audience informed. We want to thank Mark. Dr. Mark Moskowitz from New Jersey, teaches at Englewood Hospital, for being here and for his thoughts and comments. And we thank you guys for being here. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. John, good seeing you. Good seeing you guys.